welcome back to my channel. My name is Jordan Jonas Sparks and today I'm going to be reviewing a full review of new 2017 Lush products and if you missed part one to that video where I was unboxing those products then you can find that link below in the description box and if you're into that kind of thing make sure to press the juicy red subscribe button underneath and give this video a thumbs up because that would help me a lot. So, in the last video I made, I was unboxing the Happy Bath Day tin from Lush. It was given to me to review on my social media channels. In the tin, it contained the Rocket Science, the Cheer Up Buttercup, and the Birth of Venus, which I went through and did a first impressions for. And now this video, actually, I filmed over the span of like two weeks. T -t 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 two weeks because I have a stutter today. <laughs> I filmed this video over the span of two weeks and I tried out all the products in here and this is just going to be a video giving you guys a full review of what those products were like. So I used the Rocket Science first and then I used the Cheer Up Buttercup and then I tried the Birth of Venus and let's hop right into it. So I have my bathtub running here. It is almost done and ready for the bath bomb. Alright, so my bathtub, ooh, my bathtub is full, and it is ready to turn blue, because we're going to be putting the rocket science glitter bath bomb to the test. The bath bomb is almost ready. Ready, kids? It's a big moment we've all been waiting for. Bum, ba, ba. And the rocket science is preparing for takeoff. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Oh, wow. I only ran hot water. It's bubbling away. It smells amazing like lemons and something fresh and like eucalyptus or something. It says it has bergamot in it, but I don't know what that is. But it smells good. Well, definitely turns the water blue. <laughs> That's something we were wondering. And it's only melted that much. The glittery bottom was the first thing to go, I guess. Put oh, paint underneath. Let's see what happens when we put it under the water. Oh, can't really see. Oh, it's like pink underneath the inside. I wonder if it's the same out. Same my hands. That's cool. It has different colors. Oh wow, it's like fizzing out. So cool. Mmm. It smells amazing, you guys. Like, I can't deal with it. Okay, well, I'm gonna go for a little bath, and I will let you guys know what it was like. Uh, I'm trying to get into the water, but it's literally so hot because I ran, like, just hot water. This is what it looks like now that it's bubbling through. Is my makeup leaking? <laughs> Welcome to the bathtub. Oh my god, it's so hot, it's so hot, oh my god! Okay. Yay! I wonder. I'm gonna show you guys a close up of what it looks like right now. Without getting like banned off of YouTube for nudity. Bombos! Make it in! Does Azura want to come in the bathtub like a weirdo? Oh. <laughs> I love how Azura's just like waiting to come in. And that's it. Oh! It's like pretty much gone now. Made the bathtub entirely blue. It smells amazing, and it's like silky smooth on my skin, so that's good. Um, well, I guess that's about it for this part, and I will see you guys after the bubble bath. Bath bomb? It's not a bubble bath. It's just like a bomb. Yeah. Okay. 
So bath time has basically come to an end and I don't have much else to report. It left my skin feeling smooth. Oh, hi kitten. And it smelled nice and it made the water blue. And um, that's about it. So I will see you in the Cheer Up Buttercup Lemon bath bomb video. What else do we have to say? She's being shy. Do you not have anything else to say? How come you're not very talkative? You were talking to me earlier. She's trying to make a point here. You're trying to prove that you're not a talking cat. She's lying. So, here is the Cheer Up Buttercup before and this is the moment. Oh. So, what I want to say about this is that it's super, super lemony, and I saved a tiny little piece of the inside so you can see that it's like actually a neon, like hot pink on the inside. Also, it smells super lemony, so it's just lemony through and through. But this one actually is like a bit oily, so I think it's going to leave my skin feeling super soft, but the bathtub actually has like a layer of oil on top of it, which I don't remember if the rocket science had any oil, but I feel like it wasn't like oily. This one is kind of slick, so that's cool. It's probably just lemon oil, and we'll see how it leaves my skin. So these are just like little flecks of flowers that were in the bath bomb, like flower petals. I don't know if you can see. You can't really see the oil. Oh yeah, I guess you can. You can kind of see. There's like a layer of oil. So, yes, this is kind of an oily one, so if you don't like that, oh, there's my phone. If you don't like the oily bath bombs, this one's not for you, but it actually feels very nice and smells super lemony. So I love it. Alright, so I'm going to finish my bath, and I will let you guys know my final thoughts on the Cheer Up Buttercup. And then I have a jelly face mask, which is the last product in this tin that I am going to be giving you guys my full impressions on. So I will see you in that part. Bye. Okay, so I am back and what was going to be like a 20 minute long bath has now turned into like over an hour. So why not just try the last product? So, the last product is this Birth of Venus Jelly Face Mask. It says, Inver Emerge with Revitalized Smooth Skin, thanks to fresh seawater and a fresh rose infusion. So, I'm just going to try that out here in the bathtub. So, here's the Birth of Venus Jelly Face Mask. So this is yeah, the Birth of Venus. I'm just going to take a chunk out of this. Oh. Oh, look at that. It literally all comes out. Um, so I'm just going to take like a pinch like that, it literally doesn't have any instructions, so I'm just going to smooth this out in my hands, and put it on my face. I don't really care if it's messy because I'm literally in the bathtub, I need more than that you guys. Another chunk. Um, I'm just going to... Smear it right on, and then I can shower it off when it's done. I don't know how long it's supposed to stay on for. Like, how long do you usually leave on a face mask? I don't know. They're all different. It depends on the, if they're, like, peeling or whatnot. So it is kind of clumpy as it's jelly, so you have to really work it before you put it on your face, or it's not going to work. Ooh, careful of the eyes. And I'm going to be shaving off my beard today, so let's work it right into the beard. Yes. <laughs> I'm a monster. I'm a monster. Um, it smells really good. Oh my god. It's definitely rose. It says rose and seawater, but like it smells something else in there. 
They don't really tell you what kind of essential oils they use. It's a secret, so... Could be that. Yummy. Well, right off the bat, it's a bit lumpy, as we've noticed. It's not the smoothest application. I don't know I think it's supposed to be, but... I think this is probably good for me. Okay, so I'm dumb, and the directions are literally on the side, and I somehow didn't see them, but it says... Pinch off some jelly, work between dry hands to form a paste, and apply on the skin. Leave on for 10 minutes, then rinse clean. So, I did that a bit wrong as I worked it on, like, damp hands, wet hands, so maybe it would be a little more creamy if I did that, like a more even consistency. But I'm going to leave it on for 10 minutes, and I will rinse it off, and I will get back to you. And this one, I guess I will be trying again so that I can do it the right way by the directions. And we will let you know how that goes. All right, so those are all of the products being put to use. As you saw, I didn't actually get to use the Birth of Venus face mask the way that it was intended to be used. So, oops. Um, the Cheer Up Buttercup bath... Like I was saying in the video, it was like pretty oily and it smelled super lemony. So by the end of the bath, I came out and my skin actually feels so soft. I'm sure I have the oil to thank for that. <laughs> so the Cheer Up Buttercup was mm, my second favorite in the tin, I think. The Rocket Science was my first favorite. They were both super lemon scented, so I love that because lemon scent is like my favorite. But that being said, I did like the Rocket Science one better because it was more of like a rejuvenating scent and it didn't have an oily finish to it like the Buttercup one, which was nice, but I definitely just overall, I'm kind of like a bath bombs for the scent and the experience kind of person and the rocket science one made my bath all blue and it smelled amazing and was like opened up my sinuses and stuff and it was super fresh so the rocket science was my favorite i definitely highly recommend everything in this tin actually is all jordan jonas sparks approved and um i'm going to try this birth of venus face mask again to give you guys a proper review of how it was supposed to be used because I used it on a damp face but it's actually supposed to be used uh, sorry I used it rubbed it in with my damp hands put it on my face it's supposed to be used with your dry hands so I will bring this up again in like a monthly favorites video or something in the future and we can go over that product but I just wanted to let you guys know that everything in this tin was Jordan Jonas Sparks approved I love absolutely everything in there I'm loving the lemon scents and those vibes and the face mask just left my skin feeling super energized and smooth and fresh and very clean and I love that and it wasn't greasy it didn't leave any kind of residue or anything like that which I don't particularly like in a face mask so that was amazing and yeah that's about it for this video if you like this kind of video like I said earlier just make sure to give it a thumbs up because that would help me out a ton and if you have any products or anything that you would like me to review in an upcoming video, make sure to leave them down below in the comments. And I look forward to making new videos for you. And as always, make sure to be weird, be wild, and stay sparkly. Bye, guys.